there, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Thanks for joining me today on this review of Squarespace. Squarespace is a very unique uh, website builder and we think that it's targeted in the very narrow market in terms of a heavy imagery type of website. So what does that mean? That means if you're a designer, uh, you have a portfolio, you have a boutique small business, I think this website builder might suit your taste very well. And I'm going to explain that um, in this review video. One of the best parts about Squarespace is that they give you a selection of very beautiful, gorgeous, clean and minimalist uh, type of templates, uh, responsive templates that you can apply to your website. So when you're on Squarespace, just come to the templates page right here. I'm just going to take a few minutes to go over some of the templates and you'll understand what I mean by having very clean and sophisticated templates. These are the templates that they provide you. They're all responsive and you can see that they're they're just very clean and very professional looking type of template. And you can apply any of them on your website if you wish. They categorize the templates into four different categories. You can see here photography, business, illustration, and blogging. So you can see where Squarespace is really targeting and it's not just the broader market in general, but really a very specific type of user. So if you can click to any one of these, for example, business, and you can see the recommended templates for business. Let's go into Aviator. And scrolling down, you can see these are just some of the real examples of other people using this template. Let's click into Blue River and click into the link here. It'll quickly bring you to a real website that someone else built on Squarespace using this particular template. As you can see, it's a gorgeous template and it really makes it look customly built uh, that someone can be spending thousands of dollars hiring a designer uh, or a developer to code up this template and website for them. But really, it's, it's just using Squarespace. And you can see you getting a ton of value just by using this website builder. Just coming back to the main website here, before we go into user interface and show you behind the scenes of actually how Squarespace works, I just want to bring up one other point that's very important. Squarespace support system and their staff is actually well known for providing top-notch support. They're the only website builder out there that I'm aware of, uh, at least in our reviews, that has a live chat function and at the same time you can submit a new support ticket and they guarantee, their promise is that they're going to get back to you in under an hour, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So that is a very bold promise and that's something that's very impressive with Squarespace. So if you're someone that's not too confident about um, technology or you know figuring out how to use certain things because they're a little bit more technical and you need a little bit of hand holding Squarespace is definitely a very strong candidate uh, from this perspective versus waiting on uh, some of the other website builders where you have to wait for them to reply by email uh, Squarespace is uh, definitely has an edge on them in this respect so just coming back to the main website to sign up for a free trial of Squarespace, you don't need a credit card. All you need is just a username and password and email, and you can take advantage of a free 14-day trial uh, with full support, um, and you can get things going. So for the purpose of this video, I've already created a trial account, and here it is. This template is called the Avenue template, and I sort of just randomly selected it and to play around with it, and I'm, I'm so far I've been been quite pleased with it. It does have a minor bug or two, but overall it's a very pleasant experience in using it. Why don't I just give you an overview of the outline here. On the far left hand side in the dark bar, this is basically the, the high level settings bar where you can configure your settings within Squarespace. The first button here is preview. You click on this whenever you want to view your website live as if how the public or your visitors will see it. This one here is basically the content manager. Whenever you click on this, it will lead you back to this current page, okay, where you actually build your pages. This button here is statistics. If you click into it, it will actually show you over the past 12 months, up to the past 12 months, or down to the hourly basis, who is visiting your website, 
what um, what are they looking at and where they're coming from etc so it functions similar to Google Analytics but you get this broken down to the hourly basis and that's very helpful if you use this together with Google Analytics down here in this gear image is settings this is where you would just insert the basic information about your website, such as uploading a logo, uh, your description, your site description. These are how Google is going to present your um, search results and other things such as your phone number, contact email. Down in the, the settings bar right here, you get more options such as your Google Analytics uh, code. Um, discuss these are comment box that you can insert there. Amazon associate tag, these for e-commerce settings. And there's a, just a whole bunch of basic things that you can set up, such as geography, your time zone, uh, social sharing. If you want to change templates, you can click into this and you can um, switch your template. So when you first sign up, you do have to pick a template before you log in. But after that, you can switch around templates. One of the really special things about Squarespace is that they allow you to import and export. They allow you to import websites such as from WordPress, Tumblr, Blogger, uh, Shopify, Big Cartel, etc. So that's a really handy tool that we haven't really seen that in other website builders. So this is unique. At the same time, they also allow you to export your Squarespace website into a WordPress site. So anything you build within Squarespace, pages or blogs, you can actually export that into WordPress, which is a very important feature that you should really consider because a lot of other website builders, they don't allow you to export anything from the website. So they sort of hold you hostage and to continue to use their builder, whereas for Squarespace, you can take the website with you and go somewhere else if one day you decide not to continue using their services. And down here is just the commerce function. Okay, these are adding products, configuring your shipping, um, taxes, coupon management, email notifications, uh, inventory tracking, if you decide to build a, uh, an online shop. So coming back to this here, the content manager, this is uh, where we will build the meat and potatoes of the website, basically the pages and the blog posts, etc. Down in this wider left-hand column is where you would arrange your pages. You can add pages by clicking here. Okay, you can either choose a folder, a gallery, a blog, uh, an external link, placing products, or just pages. Most of the time, you're gonna be using page to build your website. And it's easy as just clicking on it. And here's the new page, and you can rename it. I'm just gonna call it, let's say, page three. And down here is the actual URL or the website address that would show up to get to this page. And you can actually change this if you really want to. Click on save and a new page is set up. And you can see here, the page here is currently blank. If you want to build a sub page, okay, so what you need to do is add a folder. Now you can rename the folder to whatever you want by clicking this and let's just call it folder. Click save and you can start adding pages there or you can drag and drop any other pages just like this. And there you go. Now it's under the folder. Okay, so just coming back to page one, I want to show you what I've quickly built so far. The way to build a Squarespace website is to use what they call blocks. And if you see the dark button up here, this is a block and you click into it, it will show you a bunch of different blocks. These are the basic building blocks of your website from text to images, gallery, you can insert videos, you can embed things, maps, forms. Um, horizontal line the works so these are all the basic things that you need to build a, um, a, a good website structure you can insert category index tag index these are useful for blogs okay or you can insert a search bar social you can configure social icons you can put a Twitter feed um, and, and other uh, uh, buttons such as Instagram into the website but let's just start using the basic building blocks to add a text is quite simple just come to text, click onto it, and drag it onto your website. Notice the blue line, okay? This is where you position this block anywhere you want on the website. You can put it between these two um, blocks here. You can put it in between here or at the very top, however you want to. They really make it super flexible and simple for you to, to, to drag and drop items. So I'm just going to put it on the left hand side right here. You can click into it and you can start typing. So I'm just going to create a title paragraph. 
Okay, you can highlight it. Now you can make it a um, uh, H1 or H2, H3 heading. So I'm just going to click H2, and you can you know italicize it or and, and do these things. Why not? If you want to delete any block, just click on the little bin, uh, a garbage bin right here. So once you have this, what you can do is actually move it around. Okay. So whenever you highlight a block, there is um, that little arrow right here where you can drag and drop these blocks to anywhere on the page. So if I want to put it above this paragraph here, I'm just going to drag to the very top. And there you go. Okay, so you can see it's pretty simple to maneuver things around. And you can go between these two columns here and you can enlarge the image or shrink it. You can see that the picture is automatically resized. Uh, one thing that's really cool about Squarespace is whenever you upload an image, it'll create six different versions, uh, different sizes of this picture. So it will suit all sorts of different sizes. You can see the expanding and contracting here. And at the same time, you can do other things to it. You can move it over here, okay, or put it back down over here. Oops. And putting it uh, right below this other picture here. So you can really move things around uh, with relative ease. If you want to review your page to see how it actually looks like in the preview or live mode, just click view page. And it'll show you right there what the page will actually look like in preview or in a live basis. Okay, so you can scroll up and down and see how it looks like. Something that I mentioned that you should be aware of is whatever you see in the preview mode may not necessarily be how it looks like in the live mode. And for me, I find that a little bit of a nuisance. For example, coming back to the editing mode, you can see that this is how it looks like. And, and I may plan my website to have it look like this. Okay, so uh, how much text I write or um, what I do here, it, I, I plan on to have it look like this in preview mode, but once I click view page, because now the website's a lot wider, there's no more menu bar on the left, um, my paragraph is skinnier, okay, and it looks a little bit different. But that's mainly because it is a, a responsive website. So, for example, I can resize this website and you can see that the pictures the, the menu bar and uh, the text here automatically uh, moves around. This is a responsive template, so it will configure itself to optimize the view uh, depending on the size of the browser. To come back to the editing mode, you just have to click on this little gear here. And we're back. One other thing that's really uh, helpful is this question mark. Whatever page you're in, just click on the question mark and they'll bring up a tutorial or introduction based on whatever page you're on. So it's relevant to your needs. So we were just in the layout engine just now where you control the layouts and build your website. Uh, when I clicked on the help button, it showed me the, the layout engine uh, help. You can either click on a knowledge base here where you can find answers or you can open a ticket where you can contact Squarespace support in which they're going to answer within an hour. Or you can watch the video. There's other help videos down here as well, which is kind of helpful. Now that we know how to do this, I want to introduce to you uh, the style editor, which is an uh, extremely powerful tool in Squarespace, which you, you can use it correctly. It's a very handy tool, especially if you're a designer um, or you have a very keen eye for design and you have a very particular taste in design. So after you go to view page, you're going to see the little black box down here. Okay. Click on change style. And you see on the left hand side, the style editor is going to pop up. Now this is an extensive tool, which you can configure all sorts of things from background color, navigation color, um, to thumbnail color, social icon color, uh, typography, sizes, uh, for example, the site width, you know, I can control it right here. Okay, now these are tools that most other website builders do not provide you with. You actually have to edit them within the codes. With Squarespace, it actually gives you these options, okay? You can move things around. 
okay or you can simplistically you can click on any one of them and it will just bring up the relevant things you can control the color uh, the the fonts the padding okay right here or um, other things so you can either reset it or you can actually access the CSS code to do manual adjustments if you wish okay I'm just gonna save this and I can click on show all and down here you can actually go as far as configuring the product sizes the gallery control um, the thumbnails that's showing uh, at a very detailed level so if you're very detail oriented or you have very uh, specific needs and design this is a very powerful tool but if you're just an average Joe and you just want to quickly build a website that looks good this could be a little bit overwhelming because they provide you with all sorts of different tools and you know it takes a lot of patience and detailed uh, orientation to, to, to put it to good use but nevertheless it's a very powerful tool that Squarespace provides you and I'm just gonna click Save and head back to editing mode so this is the basic orientation of how you use Squarespace. I have a lot more detailed comments and, and opinions below this uh, video in which you're going to find very handy. Um, there's our top three pros and cons about what's great about Squarespace and what needs to be improved. So you definitely don't want to miss that. The best thing to do if you're still deciding which website builder to use is try a few. All website builders can either give you a free pass to use their builder or even something like Squarespace, which there isn't a free package, but you actually have to pay. Nevertheless, they give you a 14-day risk-free trial. So do sign up. All you need is an email address, no credit card, and try to see if you like it and if it suits your individual needs. Once again, that's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Hopefully you found this review helpful and it's going to bring you one step closer to picking your perfect website builder.